Hello, uh, this uh, example using ChartSmart is uh, uh, going to be a simple example to just show you how quick and um, easy ChartSmart is uh, for doing your screens. Now what you're looking at here is a chart and it's uh, it's got the uh, fundamentals on the bottom and you can see the PE ratio is in, in magenta and uh, the yellow is cash, uh, operating revenue is uh, black and the dividend is blue and earnings are uh, are uh, red and this is a six uh, seven year chart and so what we're going to do is we're going to run a screen in the filter menu uh, and uh, I've got my custom list and I've just got some samples here but I've made a new one called dividends and earnings and it's got no criteria in it so this is basically how you make your own uh, uh, own uh, screen so uh, what we're going to do is first we're going to decide which exchanges so let's take on the exchange tab New York and NASDAQ okay so they get put into the left just like a basket and we put a couple apples in it and uh, what we're going to do now is we're simply going to run the screen and see how many stocks we get okay so you can see quickly it's going through 12,000 you might not have seen that but out of that there's 5,391 okay now what I'm also going to check is that we're not getting ETFs in our list so I don't know if we've turned that on so I'm going to go to display and go to miscellaneous display settings and yes um, if this is checked then all ETFs are excluded when you run your screens okay so I'm just going to look for uh, companies um, that aren't ETFs and uh, we're going to start now looking at the dividends and the earnings so uh, we had about 5,500 I think in that list that we screened. Let's go a step further and let's say that we just want ones with a, a PE under 20, a price earnings ratio. So we'll go to the fundamentals tab and we'll go down here to the PE ratio and we'll say that it's less than or equal to and we can go in here and we can uh, uh, change this value. Let's just make sure we've custom PE ratio is less than or equal to and we'll say 20 okay so there we have uh, that now we should get less than the last list which is 5500 so uh, we now get 1500 that uh, have a fairly low PE ratio and uh, let's go a little further and maybe specify the dividend that we want so let's say we only want stocks that have a dividend that's paying over uh, 4% so we'll go down to, into the fundamentals here to the dividend rate dividend yield there we are greater than or equal to in percent and we'll select uh, uh, we'll select uh, four so let's see what we get here dividend yield is greater than or equal to four so uh, uh, once again we're going to get uh, probably less than 1500 stocks which is what we got last time so uh, there's a lot less that pay a high dividend so there's 306 so let's just uh, go take a look at some of these so we'll go out of here and go back into the charting menu and we'll just scroll through a couple and you can see down here the uh, the uh, uh, the blue line is quite high and that's the dividend and you can see the dividend yield over here is 8.19 and the PE ratio is under 20 right which is what we specified which is uh, 12 here so uh, and that's why this magenta line is quite low now let's go even further and uh, maybe be more precise about what we want and let's say that we want uh, the earnings uh, per share to have gone up at least uh, gone up every year in the last three years so that's what we put EPS is up each year in the last three years and let's also say that the dividend uh, is also up so we can do that here up in each of the three years and there we go and uh, that's obviously going to cut our list down even further so this is how you go through the process of making a screen and we get 54 companies so now what we can do of course is scroll through them and let's take a look at them and the reason why I wanted to do this was to show you how the charts down here the fundamental charts are so useful in the sense that we can see uh, the trends now this one's had some dramatic increases but they've had a big increase in their dividend and their earnings have gone up in the last three years 
and uh, we're going to go to a little more uh, steady one here. This one doesn't have as much history, but as you can see, the P ratio is under 20. Dividend yield is 4%. Now, if we want to get more detail, you can see the uh, the earnings per share have been up in the last three years. But just let's look at this PD5 button, and you can see the EPS was 0.75, 1.49, and then 1.82. And while we're looking, we might as well look at the dividend, and we can see the dividend went up every year as well. So we've got a company where the earnings are going up steadily. The blue line is the dividends going up steadily. The P-E ratio is under 20, and uh, the uh, dividend yield is over 4. So you can see how quickly, if you get good at this, uh, how you can use ChartSmart to find the stocks that you want. And of course, uh, if you want, you can simply uh, add a stock to, let's say you had a watch list, uh, New York stocks I'm monitoring. We could just add that chart to it and save it. So we, we if we like it, and you can see again, there's the blue line, the dividends, a steady growth, and the red line, the earnings, a steady growth. And of course, in the fun, in the uh, filter menu where we were in the fundamentals tab, uh, there are many many different options that you can choose from with regard to. Uh, earnings per share growth uh, every quarter, balance sheet values, and so on. So this example that uh, I've done here uh, helps to uh, convey the the very important uh, value of the fundamentals on the charts and the flexibility that ChartSmart has with regard to screening out very quickly out of all U.S. and Canadian securities, so about 12,000, uh, the ones that uh, meet your parameters with regards to dividends, earnings, and possibly revenue growth. So that's the end of this video. Thank you.